Complying with the EU and OFAC's requirements around sanctions and the 50% rule is challenging. You should not trade with a sanctioned entity or an entity that is sanctioned by extension. Under OFAC's 50% rule, a company is sanctioned by extension if owned by one or more sanctioned companies or individuals, either directly or through a chain of ownership of 50% or more. Failure to comply, even unknowingly, could lead to fines. We are committed to empowering our customers to make better, faster decisions. Our Orbis database is the world's most powerful comparable data resource on private companies, including extensive information on corporate ownership structures, with flags showing matches against PEPs, sanctioned entities and individuals, and information on companies in all countries. So using Orbis, you can check your existing network for sanctioned and sanctioned by extension entities, and quickly search for and screen entities before trading with them. You can then set up alerts to monitor them and notify you of any changes that can make you non-compliant. Let's look at a real example and search for a company in the U.S. You can see that the U.S. company's ownership chain links it via nine companies to one of the 12 Russian nationals added to OFAC's specially designated national sanctions list on the 6th of April, 2018. In fact, Orbis identified 1,300 entities that became sanctioned by extension that day, and 90% were registered outside of the U.S. These entities are not on any sanctions list, but you should not trade with them, and could still be fined if you do. To find out more about Orbis and register for a free trial, visit bvdinfo.com.